Fire in the hole! Let's make some spatchcocked moho marinated chicken. Let's get these coals on a grate. I got a modified mignon method going on here and I got some apple wood in the smoker boxes and we're going to smoke up a chicken. So please stay tuned. Well, first we got to marinate them. So let's go back to last night and we'll marinate that sucker. Then we'll bring it back to today and we'll show you how we cook them. So please stay tuned. So I'm going to spatchcock a chicken. Uh, number one, it's the best way to uh, cook a chicken on the grill. And uh, number two is, I want to show off my new uh, uh, kitchen scissors that my cousin Marie got me. Look at these. These are really heavy duty. They even got a lock on them. They make uh, spatchcocking easy. Just I just clip off the Pope's nose right here. Can you see that? Yeah. Clip off the Pope's nose with that one. And they came with, it came with two, two pairs. This one's got a bottle opener. That's going to come in handy later. And we'll flip them over. And yes, I did rinse them in the sink. And we'll just, look how easy that is. Cut his backbone out. That's what we call spatchcocking. Yeah. Imagine doing this without the scissors. Well, these are good scissors, though. I really like them. Thanks, Marie. Thanks for the scissors. Thanks for everything you've done for my channel. All the support you've given me. You actually gave me the Root Boy mug. And uh, let's get the backbone out of this puppy. And then we'll break his breastbone. Turn him around here. Finish snipping out his backbone. These, these shears are really good. Really good shears. I like them a lot. Cutting right through bone. Not a problem. There we go. Cut that bone, baby. There we go. There's his backbone. Right out of there. Right in the garbage. Okay. Now we'll clean our utensils off later, but uh, right now you want to flip them over. I probably, maybe I shouldn't do this in this glass pan, but I got to break his backbone. There we go. Backbone broken. And we're going to slip them into this plastic bag for tonight to marinate them, which I've now contaminated with chicken juice. And the marinade we're using is the old Cuban standby uh, mojo. Mojo marinade, which is uh, this stuff here, mojo. And what it is, it's uh, sour orange, orange juice, grapefruit juice, garlic, and a whole bunch of other spices. Salt, pepper, of course. I'll put a list in the description of all the spices that go into a mojo. You can make your own mojo, or you can do what I do, buy it at the grocery store. Get the impossible to uh, remove label off of it. Open that puppy up and I'll put that whole the whole jar of mojo right in that chicken. Get it all on. Look at that beautiful. Can you see that? Yeah, I think you can. The spices and stuff and the garlic. It's full of garlic. Put that whole bottle in there. Close that up. Put them back in the fridge overnight. And tomorrow we'll cook them on the grill. So please, stay tuned. Okay, so my chicken's been marinating all night in the mojo. We're going to pull them out of there and uh, lay them on the grill. That spatchcock chicken that I made yesterday. Lay them on there. And I'm going to put some uh, Tango Joe's Twist and Shout spice on there. And if you get a chance to check out Tango Joe's website, uh, he makes some great spice mixes. This is uh, this one's called Twist and Shout, and I'm just gonna sprinkle that chicken with it just to get a little bit of extra flavor on them. How's that look? Can you see that? Let's zoom in. Yeah. And all we gotta do now is smoke him up for about about 40 minutes, maybe an hour, and. Uh, He'll be ready to go, ready to rock and roll. So let's close the cover on that. 
And uh, while he's cooking, or she's cooking rather, oh, big mistake I made. She's, while she's cooking, we're going to drink a beer. So please stay tuned. I got a special beer for today. Be right back. All right, it's beer 30 at last. Boy, I thought this time would never come. So what I got is my favorite beer to have with chicken. Because this pairs well with chicken. This is Dogfish Head number 61. Brewed India Pale Ale, brewed with Syrah Grape Must. Wait till you see this. I've had this before and I like it a lot. I want to show you. Wait till you see the color of this. It pours out in a kind of a purple color. And you can smell the uh, Syrah Grape Must. Look at the color of that. What do you think of that? Can you see that? No. I can't see anything. How about now? Now you see it. Look at the beautiful color of that. And like I said, that's perfect. Perfect beer for chicken. And it smells and tastes. You can smell the Syrah Great Must. Excellent. One of the best beers, excuse me, you'll ever have. Let's look at Mrs. Chicken over there. She is looking fabulous. Fabuloso. She's getting smoked up real nice. I gotta put the cover back on that so that fire will go out. We're at 142 degrees. We need to go up to about 180 and she'll be done. So that's it. That's my video for today. If you like this crap, please subscribe. Uh, if not, go somewhere else. I don't have time for people that don't like me. Okay, that's it for this week. That's my moho chicken. How's she look? Looking good, eh? Okay, see you all later. Bye.